So here we have the latest from Obris Morgan, the Sea Star. At the time of this recording and publishing, these are not available on the website, but it says there is uh, more on the way. And that is kind of typical with uh, the new releases. The first batch almost always sells out. I'm not sure how many models of these were made for the first batch, but I was sent this after they fulfilled uh, the pre-orders. So rest assured, there will be more. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't have sent one uh, for review. This is definitely uh, one of the smaller watches from Obris Morgan. They have never been known for large or massive watches to begin with. But this wears like a true 40 millimeter, meaning it doesn't wear small or large, but pretty much exactly like its measured size. And go ahead here and uh, pop it on the wrist real quick and you'll see what I mean. Here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Now, one thing to take note is how small this strap is. Honestly, this is actually too tight for me. I need to go to the second hole for me to wear this comfortably um, because I just put it on as a touch loose, but it is definitely um, a very small strap. Even though this is only a 40 millimeter case, I would have expected a slightly longer strap included. Now, if you look in here, you will see that it does come with a mesh bracelet as well. So if you don't like the rubber strap, or for you like me, it's um, a little too short, you do have uh, the mesh bracelet as well. And you can also, um, you could also replace it with any 20 millimeter strap you would want. For many people, this is going to be a great size. Uh, trend is a lot towards smaller watches. Now, one thing I want to try and point out here. Uh, Design-wise, I really like this case. Go ahead and try and give you a nice walk around here. You can see you do have drilled lugs. You have a manual helium escape valve. Okay, now one thing that may be hard to see here on camera, and I'll tell you right now, it's hard to see in person too, is the actual color of this dial. The light really just has to hit this one right. This is called the blue and the black model, and you can see around the edge of the dial, or this uh, outer portion of the dial, is actually a bluish green color. I'm trying to get it. Uh, to pop here on camera as much as I can, but it it really is hard to see and now you can see my photos of it at watchreport.com and you can see uh, photos that I really hit with the light uh, to capture that color of the dial. But a lot of the time when you do look at it, even just wearing it on the wrist, it's going to look just like a black dial, um, which is a little weird. I think there you could see uh, that nice uh, blue color. Now if we go ahead and get up close here, take a look um, at these applied markers, take a look at the dial itself. You can see you got the date well there. Uh, my one thing here is I'm just, I'm not a big fan of the text on this particular dial, especially where it says Obris Morgan Professional Diver Watch up above. Um, I kind of wish the font was a little bit different and also just it is I don't know. I think it could be a touch cleaner, in my personal opinion. Here's a look at the loom of the Obris Morgan Sea Star. So let me go ahead here and uh, show you the bezel real quick. Bezel is firm, but it does move uh, nice, and you can see there is no play whatsoever. Now, let's get to what I call the elephant in the room, and that is that helium release valve, helium escape valve. Now, let's just get this out of the way. That is useless. Um, it's even more useless because it's a manual crown. It's not your automatic helium escape valve that you normally find, you know, either under the lugs or on the other side of the case. Um, to have an extra crown there that 99.9999% of people are go not going to use is just 
kind of ridiculous to me. Um, this one just doesn't do it for me, you know. I, I, I just, I don't understand. And I get it, I like the case design and everything. I just don't understand why you would want uh, a manual helium escape valve. And then why place it there too? Because that's an odd choice. At least place it at the 10 o'clock position. That's just, um, you know, my opinion. It doesn't dig into the bag of the... Um, um, wrist though i mean with it being a smaller watch at least for me it doesn't dig into the back of my wrist or in the back of my hand more specifically uh depending on your wrist size maybe that will be different you know i have a seven and a half inch wrist maybe if you have a small much smaller wrist um it may do that i have to say um you know the strap this strap i'm not just not a fan of it's kind of like and it's very strange it's kind of like a suede strap on top here and then it's like the rubber behind i'm not a fan of the strap itself in general uh even more so is the size and i gotta say on paper you know you look at the specs you read the specs the price everything this isn't our crazy value from obris morgan watches in person and in real life this is not my favorite model from them in the past it felt as if you were getting more than what you paid for with this model, I think you're getting exactly what you paid for. Now, don't get me wrong. You may feel different, of course. And, you know, $329, that's still not bad to get exactly what you're paying for, you know. Um, you know, that's just one man's opinion, of course. But it is still a nice watch. Um, but the useless HRV, the helium release valve, the smaller size, the smaller strap, and I think just the overall aesthetics just aren't doing it for me with this particular one. I do love the dial color when that light hits it right, and I do love uh, the applied indices. But um, if you want to see more, if you like what you saw here, click the link below, take you over to watchreport.com. Not only will you get more of my thoughts and comments on this piece, but a um, lot of pictures, and hopefully you could see that dial color a little bit better. You can also uh, click on the link. I'll have the link below uh, to the Obris Morgan website as well. Keep an eye on the site or sign up for a newsletter. See when the next uh, batch of these will drop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe if you are not already. Follow us on social media. It is at Watch Report. If you want to sponsor a video, go ahead and reach out at info at watchreport.com. Thank you all. Talk to you on the next one.